Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how to work with Python software. So before going to start this video, let us try to recall what have we discussed in the lecture three, that is last video. In that we discussed how to download and install Python software. What are the different versions of Python is available? How to set path for the Python? What do we get? after the installation of python software after watching this video you will be able to give the answer for these questions how to use help function in the python how to install packages like numpy pandas matplotlib in your system how to verify installed packages in your system what is python ide what is the difference between python command prompt and python ide how to execute multi line program using ide how to use system prompt to execute python programs let us see how to use help function in the python when a programmer faces some doubt about how to use a particular feature of the python or how to use a particular topic of a python language we can use help function this is a predefined function we can use it at python prompt see this so when you open a python command line environment you can observe three greater than symbols generally that is called python prompt after that just type help function this environment will be changed into the help mode after changing into the help mode type topics so all the predefined topics names will be displayed as a result of this command topics you can type any topic name what you find here then the complete information about that topic will be displayed here and one more important point so when you use topics command all the topics names will be displayed in the upper case letters you must use upper case letters only suppose if you use lower case letters you will get an error you will get the error like there is no information about the topic name in this example i typed looping in the lower case letters but you see now the, there is no information found about the loop this type of the error you will get so you must use capital letters only then see help and the topic name looping so all the information about the looping will be displayed here to quit from the help mode press the enter button without typing any topic name and if you want to exit or quit from the python interpreter python command line environment you can use the predefined functions exit or quit and we have second method also to use the help method in the first method the environment changed into the help mode but without changing into the help mode also we can use help command for that the syntax we need to follow is just after opening the python ide or python command line environment just type help open parenthesis within the single quote type any feature of the language or topic of the python language then you will get complete information about that these are the two ways to implement the help in the python let us see this practically python in the search box then you will get this result python 3.11 this is the command line environment you can uh, identify it with the black color icon and white color icon this is the python ideally to use the help you can use ideally or command line environment also i am opening command line environment see so i am using first method of the help that is just printing help empty parenthesis then press enter button now you are in the help mode type topics and press enter so these are the different topics available then type any topic name suppose i want to know about the functions then type functions press enter the complete information about the functions will be displayed as a result of the command functions 
now i want to exit from this help mode for that just press enter without typing any topic name two times now you can observe now we are at python prompt now coming to the second method to use the help the second method is you must type help open parenthesis single quote type any topic name you want to know i want to know about the print method then press enter that's it the complete information about that topic will be displayed this is the second method to use help method then next topic is how to install the packages in your system we use pip command to install the packages in python pip is a short form for the python installation of packages i want to install the package numpy for that the complete syntax is pip space install space numpy then press enter automatically the numpy will be installed at that time what is the updated version of the numpy is available in the internet that will be collected and installed in your system to use this your computer system must be connected to the internet then let us see this practically to install the packages we need to use system prompt not the python command prompt then how to open system prompt in the search box type run click on the open here you must type cmd command then press enter otherwise click on ok okay, this is the system prompt and what we have seen before this that is the python prompt environment if you want to customize this environment go to properties and increase the font size now observe here we have by default c drive and username this is called system prompt now i want to install the package numpy syntax is pip space install space package name numpy okay see now pip space install space package name numpy then press enter then your system will try to collect the updated version of the numpy and install in your system this takes some time so what is the syntax we used to install the numpy by using the same syntax you can install any package as per your requirement these are the frequently used packages pandas generally we used for the data analysis purpose xlrd this is also one of the popular packages this is used to retrieve the data from the microsoft excel spreadsheet files you can analysis the data what we have in the excel install xlrd package by using the same syntax then one more popular package is matplotlib this is useful to produce good quality 2d graphs after installation of the packages how to verify that that particular package is properly added to your python software or not for that we use this command at the command prompt type help open parenthesis within the single quote type modules so what are the modules or installed in your system at that point of time all the names will be displayed as a result of this command so just now we installed numpy now then you can observe numpy here this is the way how to verify the installed packages then if you want to execute python programs we have three ways first one is using the python command line environment and the second method is using the python ide and the third method is using the system prompt first let us see how to execute the program using the python command line this is the python command line now i want to execute a python program to find some of the two numbers right a assignment 10 and b assignment 20 c assignment a plus b then print sum of a and b is double quotes comma c close parenthesis then press enter now this is the output of this program sum of a and b is 30 now observe here a assignment 10 i am storing the value 10 into the variable a and next line storing the value 20 into variable b 
I am finding the sum of the a plus b and storing that result into the variable c. I want to print the value of c. In python we use print function as the output function. Print open parenthesis within the double quotes what we are writing sum of a and b is. This is called string constant. What you are writing in the double quotes or we may use single quotes also that will be printed how that is. What you are typing that will be printed as it is. Then after that you must type comma and variable name. After this string what is the variable name you typed here the value of that variable will be printed here. If you observe the output sum of a and b is this is the string constant that will be printed as it is. After that what we have written c though what is the value we have in the c a plus b nothing but 10 plus 20 30 so 30 will be printed here. So this is how to execute the programs using python command line environment. Then let us execute the same program with the help of python ideally. So this is the python ideally environment. I am writing the same program b assignment 20 c assignment a plus b then I want to print that result print sum of a and b is double quotes comma c close parenthesis press enter. Now you can observe sum of a and b is 30 this is the output of this program. The drawback of the python command line environment and ideally is these are interactive modes. When you type a statement that will be executed by the python interpreter immediately. But this is not a convenient method. If you want to execute multi-line program. So this is not a better approach. For that you need to take a new file. Go to file. Click on new file. Write the program here. I am using the same code then now observe here this is not interactive mode. At this time I want to execute this program after completion of typing the four lines but in the previous methods that is python command line python ideally when you type first line that will be executed second line at that time second line will be executed but this approach is different. I have written these four lines. I want to save this for that click on the file and click on save as select the location where you want to save this file okay suppose I want to save this file at the desktop and click here give the file name I am giving the file name as sum dot py is compulsory the extension of the python program is dot py save as type python files or you may select all files also then click on save. Now this file was saved. You can observe that file name here sum.py. To execute just click on run and we have the option run module. Just click on this. Then you will get the output sum of a and b is 30. This is the another method after typing of the complete program the program will be executed. This is the traditional approach. This is the good approach. We will discuss how to execute the programs using the system prompt in the next video. Now check your knowledge what you learnt from this video. What is python ideally? What is the difference between python command prompt and python ideally? How to execute multi-line program using ideally? How to use system prompt to execute python programs? We will cover this in the next session. If it is useful to you, subscribe the channel, watch and share it. Thank you.